Hello, you degenerates! Welcome back to Monster Mates Podcast. Yes, welcome to episode 8 of season 4 of Monster Mates. Spencer, please choose a number between 1 and 90. Uh, 78. 78 is a number you haven't chosen yet. Okay. Uh, 78 is... Cloth Girl, a.k.a. Eton Momen. I have no idea. Uh, let me pull it up. I have no idea what a cloth girl is. Eton Momen. There it is. Oh, she's pretty. Yep, all right. So without going into it, what are we rating this girl? Uh, you know, I will give this like, I'll give it like a six. I am going to give this, without going into it, a five. Okay. Personally. She's pretty. Indeed. All right. Uh, do you want me to read this uh, one? Yeah. All right. A bizarre monster inhabiting the Zinpa uh, Zipangu region that has a cotton-like body. They mainly appear at dusk, fluttering in the sky. It's very difficult to tell what they're thinking. They may attack when they spot human men. They may just fly around in the sky, and sometimes they space out when they get stuck on something. When they fly up to a man on a whim, they will bind him by wrapping around him with their cloth body and attempt to have intercourse. At a glance, it looks like they only have a body of thin cloth. But as soon as their cloth coils around and clings to something, it makes the outline of an alluring woman's body emerge on the other side. Nothing should exist on the other side, but it certainly does feel as though a woman's body really exists from the feeling one gets as one's fingers sink in when touching over the cloth. In fact, it's all just the use of mamano mana and the cloth body to recreate the resilient feeling and, the, and weight of a woman's body. They skillfully produce a body by winding their own cloth with their mamano mana. For that reason, sensory organs and so on uh, are on their cloth parts, which is their original body. Unlike an ordinary woman's body, the cloth body doesn't have different functions and sensitivity in each part. As for the woman's body created by winding cloth, the vagina, mouth, breasts, and buttocks are of course semen milking organs and erogenous zones for pleasuring and making love with men. But so is the rest of it, including even the face, hair, armpits, belly button, etc. The cloth has such an exquisite feel to it that men who are their husbands ununanimously claim that they spontaneously get the urge to rub cheeks with them. And it really shows its stuff when it comes to fondling men. If the body is rubbed unlike other cloth in human skin, while it is still soft and smooth, there is also a feeling like occasionally getting stuck that produces stimulation which induces pleasure in a man's body. If one inserts his penis in the area formed by triangular cr uh, cresses, which corresponds with the vagina of an ordinary woman's body, even though it's over the cloth, there's a feeling of heat and wetness as the penis plunges inside as if it were real. When taking in a penis, the cloth changes shape to match it, and when they rock their hips at the same time, the cloth enveloping the penis can freely stroke it. This results in a twofold pleasure that's like being milked by a vagina and caressed at the same time, which causes most men to ejaculate at once staining their cloth with cloudy white semen. Since it's made of cloth, a man's semen will easily soak into their body in any spot on the cloth. Any spot on their body can absorb semen with extremely high efficiency. For that reason, even though they may look silly when wrapping their cloth body around their husband and sleeping happily or swaying with just a bit of their cloth fastened to their husband, they do possess high magical power from having sex with their husband again and again. And despite appearances, no small number of them are great yokai. When monsters obtained their current female bodies, the Iten Momen ended up with a half-baked body made of cloth. But it seems they themselves are actually very pleased with their form. When they say, it, uh, what they say is that since their thin cloth body can easily soak up semen, they can easily have their husband's semen permeate through their entire body literally stinging themselves completely with their husband so they can immerse themselves in happy feelings all the time. Huh. So you know how people, like, jerk off with their socks and all that? Yeah, but that, it's like a living sock. Yeah, pretty much. Or you've seen those uh, doujins that have, like, the people who uh, 
the monster girls that are just part of their clothing, and yes. so they're walking, and mm-hmm. they're like, he's fucking me as he's walking. Yes, yes. <laughs> kind of like that, actually. But this is kind of cute in its own way, actually. Much it, to my own surprise. <laughs> like, this is like... I can just imagine her just literally being your, uh, uh, someone's, like, body pillow. Like, she's, like, almost like a living body pillow, because you're fucking the cloth, I guess. Yeah, pretty much, actually. Those ones that have the hole in it? Yeah. That's what I'm imagining that she's doing. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, although, I will say, I think it would be... How would you feel about living clothing? Um, I mean, I think it would be interesting. I wouldn't be against it. <laughs> but I have no idea how uh, how well that would go, actually. Do do okay. Yeah. After you have sex with her. Uh-huh. Do you have to put her in the washing machine? I mean, she absorbs it, so potentially no. I mean, like, well, my but, clothes absorb Well, yeah, water. I know what you mean. <laughs> I refer to what you're getting to, but considering they use that to sort of give themselves mana, uh-huh. I imagine it's breaking it down entirely to where it's like nothing happens, you know? I see. Yeah. Okay. Self-cleaning, one might say. <laughs> Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Now, my question is if she gets pregnant. Uh-huh. Is that also a cloth baby, or and you can still whimsical and see through, or is this, like, a creature that probably cannot? <sighs> That's a good question. Because uh... that was my thing. I'm like, this girl is literally, like, a, an inanimate object. She's not mm-hmm. really, like... So a thing. So you know? how I'm thinking of this, since for since she is made of basically magical cloth, is that you know how sometimes your clothes get a bit frayed and have like little strands of fabric that start to come off. That's what I think the child starts off as, and then, and then slowly it just blows in the wind. It becomes one. Yeah, it slowly becomes its own its own uh, E10 moment. Its own little cloth oh, girl. Oh God. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's, that's... terrifying. <laughs> I I no, I couldn't do that. That's no. terrifying. Oh goodness! Could, uh, could you imagine having like a random piece of cl- like string on you and you're like, and you crush it? I mean, you just hear. <laughs> but no, it would be coming off of her, not you. <laughs> well, yeah, but it would stick to you if it came off of her. Still, if it's uh, a piece of cloth. I mean, not necessarily. No, no, I don't think so. Because it's like again, if we're going with like the child aspect okay. on this, is that. I think it would, in time, just sort of separate from the mom and then become, and then once it separates from the mom, it would become its own, uh, its own cloth girl. I see. That is how I am picturing it anyways. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness. But still, I mean, I was thinking originally this was going to be a pretty vanilla one, even for like a monster girl, just given the appearance, but still, this is... This seems pretty cute. All she wants to do is just, like, cuddle and have sex with you, like, constantly. Her, her disposition is poor at expressing emotion. Yeah, she's a coude, right? Which, which is a the, favorite of yours. Yes, which, the audi- as the audience knows, I, I very much like coude, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> I like it when I feel good, but don't tell you or show you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they just take a bit to open up from their <laughs> shell, okay? It's fine. Uh, I was gonna give you shit, but I'm like, no, nah, I get it. No, nah, I get it. <laughs> Sooner is the same way. Oh goodness. In their own way. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. But no, this is this is super adorable. This is super cute. Now here's the thing, they're they're attempting to have intercourse on a whim. Like at a glance, mm-hmm. it looks like they don't have a body of thin cloth, but as soon as their body coils around and clings something. It makes the outline of the alluring woman's body emerge on the other side. Yeah, so it's... I'm trying to think of how... Okay, so... Obviously, clothes show the frame of a person, yeah? Yeah. Then I I would say that at first glance, it's just like... Well, given the example we see on the actual cover of the Monster Girl Encyclopedia, it's an apron. It's... <laughs> It's an apron with, like, a head and hair, but as you start to get closer and actually connect with a girl, you can actually feel the girl's outline right. and all that. And the sort of frame starts to show through the cloth, or in the in the case of, like, what we're seeing in front of us, the apron. Now, my... 
oh, I had a question and, yeah. I, totally, and I lost it. Uh, my initial aspect on this is that, I mean, obviously sky's the limit. It doesn't have to just be an apron. It could be, it could be any type of clothing or any kind of like full one piece suit. Oh, so my question was, do yes. you think if you wore another type of clothing like that wasn't alive but like a t-shirt uh -huh. that she would get jealous i think only partially <laughs> i think she would like i think she would be like man i wish you i would kind of wish Why it was weird me, me? yeah me? <laughs> <laughs> but i don't think she would get super super jealous about it she would just be like okay fine i know okay i <laughs> guess you can but no underwear. <laughs> That's not allowed. Oh, goodness. She definitely, like, destroyed all of them. <laughs> I could, I'd, yes. I'd be fine with that. <laughs> oh. She just destroys all your underwear, saying, I'm the only underwear you are allowed to wear. I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh. Do you think it's the same with like if you got out of the shower and then all of a sudden mm. your towels are missing and she's just she hangs herself over the rack <laughs> looking at you? I I think she would do that as a like I think she wouldn't do that all the time. I think she would do that for special occasions. Oh my god! I just imagine her just looking up with you from the bottom oh. of the towel rack like. Hey. <laughs> You know what this is? Oh, that'd be that'd be funny. That'd be that'd be adorable. Uh, <laughs> you know why we're, you know why we're here? Yeah, pretty much. Now, can uh, what we're looking at is white. Uh huh. Yes. Can you get other colors? I was going to say yes because I assume you can get different fabric types of this as well. But I mean, you would still get that sort of cotton-like body sensation, but still kind of mix it with other fabrics as mm -hmm. well. But I would say, yes, you get different colors and styles with this as well. Like I said, with like any sort of one piece, like attire. Yeah. I would I would 100% say you can get different variations in colors with this, which is very, very cool. Not going to lie. <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready to give my rating on this. All right. Um, What is your final rating going to be? I'm curious. I think it's the same. I think it's like a six. Oh, really? Okay. I think it has a lot of cute aspects. I think it has a lot of uh, fun, fu fun slash funny kind of capabilities. But I also feel like I'm holding back because I don't think it's hitting... Well, it's not hitting my personal mm -hmm. stuff. But I also think that uh, it could be kind of annoying. Okay. Because of how clingy she is. Ah. I feel like that could be really annoying, but... Uh, if you're into it, I could definitely see this being really nice and really good. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I gave this a five originally. I'm going to give this an eight. Oh my god! <laughs> because I I am a man of style. I would say I, I I like to be stylish when I can in my own little interesting way, and I feel like this girl could definitely hit those buttons for me. Because mm -hmm. you talked about, like, the living cloth aspect. Yes. And that, I feel like that would be really interesting. And I feel like just having her, I mean, even if you didn't, like, just physically wear her or anything, even if you just had, like, her, like, walking with you, like, down the street or something, it would, she would compliment you well, like, uh, with whatever you're wearing. Do you think if someone compliments you, like, hey, I like your shirt, and then you wouldn't respond, but she'd be like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because I'm thinking it's like you have your own different style on, but she's walking right next to you I as see. as herself, you know? Oh, that, I see. That is what I am thinking of. You two can wear, like, complimenting uh, suits and whatnot, I is see. what I'm thinking. I think that would be super, super cute and amazing. Uh, plus, again, the Kudere aspect gave it another plus one, obviously. Yeah, I, I figured. Obviously. But yeah, my final rating on this is going to be an eight. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for listening. What would you rate a cloth girl? Yes. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to give it a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. And if you want updates on the show, feel free to follow us over on Twitter. Or if you want to follow me individually, that will be in the description as well. And be sure to check out the amazing artist who did the art for this thumbnail. Also, please tell us in the comments down below, what piece of clothing would you want her to be? Yes, you? very true. What kind of style would you want your Eten Momen as? And stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.